Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Andre Fenton. <laughs> Suicide and depression. Suicide is the second leading cause of death in Canadian youth. It's a harsh truth to take in, but here's the proof. 294 youth die each year, living in constant fear that they can't bear it anymore. Year by year, their hearts tear and tremble, feel like they got thrown across a field and fumbled. Bullies won't yield, and they wonder why these victims carry shields. But a lot of these victims can't feel love or have fun, but they feel depression and sorrow, and always want to see it tomorrow. So speak now, leave them forever tainted, leave them forever forsaken of their own salvation, because invisible walls never have a good foundation. Looking back, I was never perfect. I was far from perfect. I was 317 pounds. I wasn't proud, I was pale when I stepped on the scale. Even though I was frail, the doctor looked at me like I had three heads and a tail and said, what are you eating? In a voice of disgust. I'm not defending my bad choices, but she looked at me like I was expired. And I was tired of people looking at me like I was disgusting. And that's why I'm so distrusting. At school, they all looked at me like I was a fool. Too afraid to sit down thinking I'd break a stool. Would never take off my shirt to get into a pool. They called me fat ass, fat Joe, slow on all the names under the bus. These kids even made fun of me for being half black. See, take the Big Mac jokes out of the equation, and to get the half-breed, you call them a Mexican or even Caucasian. It felt like an invasion, but they never gave me a reason, but they treated me like I committed treason. So, in grade 11, I went missing in action. I just wanted to make some traction, find a passion or a hobby, instead of looking around, looking like a fool in the school lobby. I lost some weight, made some better choices. I realized that your body is a temple for your soul, and I had a goal. So in August of 2011, I was 317 pounds. As of now, I lost 145 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. But when I came back in school, everyone was in awe when they saw me. They went call me slumbo, they ran all the low blows. Suddenly, my Facebook friends have started to grow, my phone started to blow, and my life started to overflow. And apparently my smile was carved in stone, because after I lost the weight, apparently I was diagnosed with depression. But it made me think back, because maybe it made sense, because my summers are always a bummer, because I stay inside and hide, trying to find friends on Xbox Live. Sure, I was living, but I was never completely alive. Until one day I decided to strive. 175 was my prize, and once I got there, I just wanted to be myself. I just wanted to thrive. So this piece goes out to any kid who can't find a place in society. I just want them to know to hold on tight and walk with me. Because no matter how far they seem, your dreams will always become a reality. Thank you.